Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we are here to do your weekly reading for uh, what is it, March 5th through the 11th. That's what it is. This is a weekly reading. Generally my readings are love readings but lately they haven't been so we will see what comes up. Ooh, door to romance. Door to romance. There could be a new door opening. Or, you know, a reopening of a door. You know, if one was closed, one could reopen. Or it could be a new door. I think you guys are removing something from your life because threes are removing all that no longer serves you. You know, it's part of it. It's change, growth, all right? And this is uh, this is something like, this could be a divorce. It could be a break in a commitment. Um, it can also be a blockage of some sort. So let's get the rest. Let's get some more cards here. This is a commitment. Something is not as it seems. There's something going on behind the scenes regarding a commitment. All right, but here's you, Aquarius. Maybe you, maybe your hopes are going to be fulfilled in regards to a new commitment that you're looking for. Or, like I said, there could be a reopening, a, a reconciliation of some sort within a commitment that you're in. That certainly could be the case. But this also could be a door that's closing. There's a door here. Whether it's opening or closing, we're going to find out. But this right here is a, this can be a divorce. This can be legal matters. This is a, a blockage of some sort. But the moon is here. The moon comes out because there's something going on behind the scenes. Okay, there's some kind of hidden force here that is, that is, isn't known. Okay, there's something unknown. There's something, there's a secret of some sort. Okay, that's what the moon brings. It's also cycles. So you could be starting a new cycle or ending a new cycle. Something is a mystery. Ah, you haven't learned some lesson yet. There's a lesson that still needs to be learned. You're not ready to complete a cycle because that world card is reversed. Maybe you're not ready to let go of a commitment to have a new door open. Here we have, this is victory and success. This is also about respect. This is, a, this is something exciting. This is good news. This is an exciting new discovery. You could have a new partner. Aquarius, you might have a new partner that leads to commitment. But maybe you just have to complete a cycle first. I bet that's what it is. Because this is a cycle and this is a cycle and this one isn't completed yet. So there's a cycle and here you are. To have ultimate wish fulfillment, you need to end something first. Do you need to end one commitment before a new one can begin? Before you can have success, you need to have a divorce or a separation? To start a new journey, to start over? You know, you need to end something first so that you can start over and bring that ultimate happiness to your life, okay? It's time to bring the balance back. It's time to... Uh, to um, let me get this zoomed in it's a renewal I see some kind of healing and renewal as well healing healing and renewal and renewal these are both healing and renewal cards so I think that many of you are going through some change where you have to let something end. You need to complete one phase so that you can have your ultimate wish fulfillment with a commitment of some sort. There is an exciting new discovery. I mean, that is the basis of this reading today. 
Okay, I see that you are probably acting on your hunches. You're very eager. It feels as though there's a lot of passion and you a passion about a commitment and a new start, a fresh start. Now, this could be, you know, this could go a couple ways. This is for hundreds of thousands of people. There could be some kind of reconciliation. Okay, but this also could be something brand new, but something has to be let go of first. Something has to end. This cycle has to end before this commitment can really lead to wish fulfillment. You won't have the ultimate wish fulfillment till you complete one cycle. Here we have enlightenment, happiness, renewal, rebirth. This is healing. This is renewal. This is patience and um, balance. Okay. But here, this is the fool which brings success to his life by taking a risk, by having faith, having faith in some sort of commitment. So perhaps you are having a renewed, renewed faith in a commitment. That could certainly be the case. Yeah, well, it looks like you're still concentrating on what's been lost, okay? You're still concentrating on some sort of disappointment because you're looking down, okay? You're looking down at this disappointment. And, you know, that's really stalled you for moving forward. There's been no forward movement because you were reluctant to complete a cycle. But it seems like there was so many feuds that you, now you may, be, you may be feeling more eager than you have been in a while, okay? Because that's eagerness underneath. But this is turning away from family feuds. Or this could be that you, like I said, you are, there's some kind of renewal that brings happiness back to a relationship that could certainly happen but then again i mean there's a lot of conflicts here there's a lot of mental conflicts here there's no doubt about it this is mental conflict that's what this card means you are feeling mentally trapped you go one way and this is what i'm seeing zoe stop you're going one way right it's like uh what is it up and down roller coaster one minute you're ready to move on the next minute you're not so this is what i see it's like and that's exactly how i'm feeling with this it's, it's like a up and down up and down up and down up and down because one minute you're you're you can't let go of the past but the next minute you're ready to move on and that's where this mental conflict so you're in a mental trap right now you know you don't know if you want to walk away you don't know if you want to leave but it feels like there's a lot of feuds going on between people, maybe in your family that or in your at your work, wherever this is, in your establishment, there's a lot of feuds going on and you're contemplating walking away from it. But you're having a lot of mental conflict as to whether to walk away from it or not. Yeah, see, the devil is sabotage. Now, there could be some work sabotage for some of you, okay? Because this can be establishment, work, or home. You're being sabotaged somewhere. This is the devil card. I think that <laughs> there's lies. There's manipulation. There's control. Um, addictions. We have addictions twice. There could be some addictions that are affecting this future here, whether it's yours or the other person's of affecting something. There's some addictions. Could even be a sexual addiction with these two cards. Okay, something could be based on sex. Just saying. Okay. It appears there could be just so much passion that you can't see past it. And it looks very lusty. Okay, it is. With, with, with this card, this card, and this card, there's a lot of sexual energy here and i'm sorry to tell you that but not that that's all wrong okay but there may be one you have to make a decision there's a door to romance but it, i just want to warn you that it could just be lust yes because if this is the knight of cups reversed and you know it might not be love at all okay so it feels like you could have a new opportunity on the horizon or something might turn around and you think it's romance but it's just the look somebody's looking for sex so just keep that in mind in the back of your you know head that somebody that comes into your life they may not be offering you actual romance they may be offering you a good time okay 
I feel as though you, and you may just, you may not even see it like that because you're still concentrated on the loss here. This person is somebody you know, and I feel like it could be somebody coming back for more, you know, and you, because they see that you've decided to move on. That's probably what this is. They see that you've decided to move on from a situation. So they're like, okay, well, I need to, I need to throw her, her or him a bone to keep him hooked. And so, you know, they may just throw you a bone, okay? So, and it may just be a bone. Got it? Okay, so just keep that in mind. I feel as though you've come a really long way. Okay, you've come a really long way at um, bringing success to your life and, and getting your life back on track and taking control of the situation and taking control of your life. But it feels like, you know, you, you may be being... Uh, lied to okay that's the seven of swords somebody could be rushing in somebody could be rushing in to sweep you off your feet to tell you everything you want to hear to throw you a bone literally give you a bone and it's a complete lie sneaky deceit betrayal they come and they go all right, it's not love, so just keep that in mind, okay? If somebody comes in and it hasn't worked out in the past and they see that you're vulnerable, you know, you know, they might just, and they see your mental conflict, you know, and they have addictions and they may, they may try to feed you based on addictions. If they know what your addictions are, they might try to take, to take advantage of your addictions. Got it? Okay. So it appears that you are, you're being called to learn a lesson which you haven't learned yet because you have the world reversed with the death card reversed. You have, you still have a lesson to learn here and it has to do with strength, mental strength and using all the discipline that you can muster up to say no. You know, and about the, the respect that I was talking about here, this was like respect. This is a self-respect. Okay, the thing is, is I, it appears to me that somebody is going to come in to, to, uh, entice you and with like the devil would do. It's like the devil whispering in your ear with all these wonderful things. You're so beautiful. I love you, baby. I can't live without you. You're so hot. Have a drink. Let's go have some drinks. I'll take you home and throw you a bone and be gone when you wake up. And the thing is, is that you're dreaming of ha happily ever after. You've forgotten how far you've come. Look how far you've come. You've come a long way. There's no new beginning that leads to happiness with this person. You've had your guard up. You've learned a lot. You've been warding off this devil for a while now. But your dreams of happily ever after are so big that you can't see that there's no real actual new start here. Ah, Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups. Ooh, avoiding disaster. I feel as though you have somebody new. New. 
So if this person from your past comes into your life and wants to throw you a bone, the karmic lesson underneath with the world card, and this is karma as well, karma and world is right underneath it, okay? Karmic lesson, okay? This is what this is. It's a karmic lesson. that is asking you not to act impulsively to remember where you've come from remember the feuds that you've had remember that it wasn't love you find your discipline to avoid a disaster because I feel like you have a new opportunity, a new love. You have a new love, but you have a lesson to learn here. And it has to do with, and that's the way it goes. They, the, you have to prove to the universe that you're ready for new love. So we always get tested first. Always, 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 always get tested before a new love comes in. I got tested just the other day. And I'm going to use it during one of my Let's Talks, so I'm not going to tell you what it is. But you always get tested with one of your exes or a love partner. Always. Always. Right before a new love comes in. So, this is a test. This is a test. You have a new opportunity in love. But you have to let go of this toxic, addictive, obsessive, lusty past. Stop focusing on the loss. He's looking down at the loss. That This person is not a keeper, whoever it is. Focus on what you got in front of you. It appears to me that you will have an opportunity offered to you from somebody that is sexual. And they, this person is, is throwing you a bone. Because it's time for you to move on. And I feel though, I feel as though that you should avoid that. Because you have an opportunity for new love to come in. That does lead to happily ever after. And a commitment. After you free yourself. From an addiction. Now I'm going to read that card, but I'm not sure if I zoom that in correctly. I feel like you have a new love, a brand new love. That can lead to a commitment and happily ever after. But you have to complete this karmic, karmic lesson first. And this is reversed. You have to. You're being tested. Whether you're looking for a new relationship or just more love in a relationship you're in, this door with a heart opens onto a new beginning in your experience. A new love may be arriving and you are being brought together by a strong, resonant connection. This may be a call from a past life or it may be a new tenderness about to bloom into a heartfelt affection. This re relationship already exists in an energetic potential. So when this card appears in your spread, make sure you are projecting the kind of self-love energy that you want to receive from others. Be aware that the universe returns your self-caring treatment to you. 
It's ready to open that door. Are you? Are you, Aquarius? Are you ready to open the door to true love because it's here? Or do you want to keep letting somebody throw you bones? That's what I have. Talk to you later.